say you're playing online with someone, and what happens is some hacker digs up information on you, um, and then they report you to the police as having committed some kind of crime, usually some kind of hostage or like person with a gun situation. SWAT has become an epidemic throughout the United States, with just a recent casualty occurring in Kansas, not far from Scott City. We brought in our local state trooper, Kelly Stoppel, to come by and explain to us the kind of mindset an officer needs to have in critical situations. Mindset I usually have going into a possible danger system uh, situation is keep it a calm head. You know, calm is very, um, it spreads. People's personal information are vulnerable on the internet and can be accessed by anybody. How do I feel knowing they can track my IP? Uh, pretty terrified. I really encourage people to try and search up like themselves or their address online. You'd be really surprised how many like perfectly indexed like just regular listed sites have your address and like your personal home history on there. Unfortunately, this online prank has become more than just a joke in the recent years. Kelly explains to us his biggest fear when people don't comply to his demands. My biggest fear when people don't comply with what I tell them is uh, the amount of force that we use to get them to comply. We get split second choices to make where it will be judged for years by media, by attorneys, by other people that we have to answer to later on. So having a clear, calm head helps us make those right choices in split seconds. Recently, SWARN has become more frequent. Something that baffles judges is the punishment hackers should receive, especially if they lead to a fatality. And if a person dies, like in this case, it should be manslaughter, like point blank. It might not have been your intent, but it is what it ended with. With the incident that occurred in Wichita, Kansas, hopefully people think twice before they try another prank like this. This has been Jabani Balderrama with BBN TV.